it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes and I'm back again with another About Town Roundup and this is a small roundup I may uh, find some more things and join it with this video I'm not sure but these are things that I acquired while I was near uh, the little town of Combermere which is uh, not really northern Ontario but uh, near north and there is a charity gift shop there um, and I was able to obtain some jewelry I if I had had hundreds of dollars I would have bought hundreds of pieces of jewelry they had exquisite exquisite um, pieces and I limited myself to these few so the first thing I bought was this maple leaf gold tone maple leaf and on the back you can see that it says Avon in that script 1237 and then Canada and this is an Avon of Belleville piece rather than the Avon uh, makeup fragrance um, brand of jewelry so a beautiful piece and it's nice that it's a maple leaf then uh, a couple of uh, or a few older pieces of, ju of uh, jewelry well I call this jewelry this is this has got to be jewelry, even though this is a belt buckle um, or a belt. Yeah, it's for a belt. Beautiful, clear rhinestones. This beautiful, I uh, pressed whatever. I'm not sure if, if what that is, celluloid or I don't know if it would be Bakelite. I'm not as familiar with Bakelite. I guess I could test it and find out. I hadn't thought to do that yet, but I was just um, thrilled with the, the shape and the design and the colors involved. So I picked that up. I don't have many belt buckles of that age in my collection. Then this um, pin, I've tested it. it I've tested the, the pin itself, uh, this brooch. The pin's not silver. The, I didn't test the rest yet. Um, and it probably had clear rhinestones in it uh, originally, and most of them have blackened. But I think for me, that's part of the appeal of it. I think it looks um, very interesting with both um, colors, with all, all the different colors, clear, black, gray. Um, and uh, I kind of like it like that. So um, I guess, you know, over time, that this will just uh, gain more beauty in my eyes by uh, getting older and blacker. <laughs> now this I've tested and this is sterling um, and I love this piece. Um, most of the rhinestones have already lost their foil. There's one that hasn't but these are all open backed rhinestones. When they had their foil they would have been incredibly beautiful. Um, it is older um, by the, based on the trombone clasp here, just pulls the pull that clasp, pin comes out, put the pin back in, shut the trombone. There is one uh, that get missing here, but I'm sure that I have some foilless baguettes, uh, vintage baguettes that I can use to fill the gaps. I think there's another rhinestone missing there. But um, uh, I just love the design. I had, as I said, I had so many things to choose from and I had to really limit myself. Um, so certainly I will be returning there as often as I can um, because the choices were just innumerable and beautiful, beautiful things. Uh, and lucky for me, all the Sarah Coventry they had was pieces that I already owned. So... I wasn't tempted by a whole bunch of Serif Coventry this time. And then um, there are these four um, suspender clips, as they call them. I think I've actually got them upside down. They should go this way. Um, Mother of Pearl. And uh, these two are identical. And these two are different. But I think they're just lovely. And you can see, here's where the... The clip is the suspender part that grabs onto something and this pins on 
So I'll have to look up uh, online and see if I can find information about how these were actually used. Were they for garters? Were they for lingerie? Um, I've seen lingerie clips that are, are more like a little pin, not a suspender. But I don't see these as being suspenders for men. And they are quite flexible. You can see that they, they turn on there. So there's my little about town uh, roundup with some very lovely, and particularly these, all of these, I guess, but particularly the, these two rows, older items that I uh, was able to find for my collection. Hope you enjoyed this. Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'll be back again with more jewelry.